which actually leads us in because we're talking waste. How is um, you know Mo and uh, the crew over there? Wow, what a fucking roller coaster ride! It has been an insane few months. Uh, had a major setback uh, at the facility. It was set up in um, in up and around Santa Cruz. Crazy shit went down. Um, the machine almost got impounded. They got it back. Um, but it was like horrible. Like everybody was depressed. Mo was fucking pissed at the world. And, you know, I was obviously hurt and bummed out because, you know, I was, I was in the middle of the preliminary DNA um, mm. sampling. So I ended up going up there, even though the machine was shut off inappropriately. I didn't know how well, like how well the bio bed will, would have sustained. I, I took a risk, drove fucking five hours up there, praying the whole fucking time that this the bio bed and the output would still be viable. They hadn't, you know, gone completely anaerobic and fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, I was able to pull the samples. The bio bed was still in good shape, which is again a testimony to to how well this system functions. Even having the power cord shut off, ripped out of it. It still maintained itself for a period of time, which is, again, I mean, like imagine someone on a heart lung machine, you pull the plug, fucking gone. Yeah. Right? Well, we expected that to pretty much kind of happen. Like Mo never gone through this where someone had just ripped the plug out and, and shut the machine off when it was in the middle of sustaining itself. Yeah. So needless to say, out of that horribly depressing and upsetting scenario, uh, Ron, their principal, who I love this guy to death, was like mm -hmm. he started he started running around talking to other people and, and he set up a couple appointments uh, for for me to talk to, you know, these groups up there that might be interested in. Um, one of them was a professor at a local college up there. Now, again, this is this is the first time I've ever experienced this type of college. It's it's uh, it's more like a trade school. So right. what, what these kids do is they go there uh, to be farmers, but they're taught carpentry, they're taught plumbing, they're taught electricity, they're taught soil, they're taught fertilizer, they're taught plants, they're taught crops, rotating. I mean, everything across the board. I mean, th this, is, this cool. is the kind of college all colleges should be. You should mm -hmm. leave college with the ability to survive and, and thrive, not, not have to go take a job that's doesn't have anything to do with what you just learned, but more yeah. importantly, giving you tools that you can survive in the real world and, and thrive and move ahead, yeah. not just sustain. I hate the word sustain. Sustain means stay the same all the time. No, yeah. we need flat to line. grow. Right. You flatline. It's dead. Flatline. That's sustain. So needless to say, um, this, this one uh, professor – Connected them to an intern, or not an intern, a student mm -hmm. who had taken on a internship with a company that I can't tell you right now, but it's a big okay. motherfucking company. Um, and she was brought on, or she interns at this facility to basically, uh, she was encouraged to bring in R and D ideas. All right. So it's not your typical internship. She was she was brought in as an intern, yes, to, to, to work at this facility and learn the ins and outs of this as part of her degree at that college. But mm -hmm. the company said to her, hey, on top of interning here, we are always looking for uh, new ideas, new methods, new techniques um, for our business. And we would like you while you're here doing your work to also right. look into this and make suggestions, come, come to, you know, the, your managers with, with ideas, you know, like, Hey, go dream. I mean, I love this place. Fucking love this. So she found the muncher. Cool. She introduced the muncher to this monster company. Mm hmm. Monster Company says, oh, this is an interesting concept. I know what anaerobic digester is, but I've never heard of an aerobic digester. So let's let's have a conversation. Well, that conversation went so well that the muncher got moved from the nightmare site right directly mm -hmm. to their site, which was like 
20 miles down the road, not even, and, yeah. and opened up a fucking door, which, all right, some of this, I don't, I should be really careful about what I say, but what I am going to say, what I know for fact is mm -hmm. that this machine has shown the ability to break down THC. Yeah. That's no joke. I mean, that's, that's a fucking pretty hard molecule to, to destroy. It, you, you can smoke it, right? That's great, but you destroyed it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it goes to CBN. It does all these other things, but the molecule's still there. So to, to get rid of that molecule is not an easy thing to do. Um, or I should say it's not an inexpensive thing to do. Okay. So we had, as part of the work that we were doing up there, um, part of the, can I say this? I think I can. Um, part of the problem with this company is their waste stream. All right. Yeah. Um, they have to pay X amount a ton for their waste product because it does have a lot of um, pesticides. In it. Right. So their cost per ton is based on the pest residue that is shown through testing. So it's, oh, you, this is your level, this is your cost. Okay. Come to find out that the muncher <clears throat> would pay for itself in one year. Sweet. Because the pest panel that was extensive to say the least, I mean, all major pesticides were on this panel. Um, some were not applicable, um, mm -hmm. probably, but the vast, the ones that were applicable, all of them came back non detect That in itself is fucking amazing. I mean, again, there there is some indications, although this I can get in trouble for, that it may break down glyphosate, but that testing needs to be replicated a number of times to, to verify. Yeah. And, and everything I just said will be replicated again to verify that that wasn't a screw up at the lab, but that was mm -hmm. real. In, in science, we do everything in triple. For that yep. very reason, so that there's no, if you can't duplicate the experiment, then you got a problem. It, it didn't work. You, you can't make those claims. So all of this stuff will be replicated many times in the near future um, and we'll verify because uh, based on everything I understand, they freaked the fuck out when this panel came back. Yeah. Right. That should say it all. 